So this is your third championship visit to the White House. You've been here more times, of course, but how did this rate, because this was a Cleveland visit? Um, I mean, it's right up there with the top, but uh, anytime you get an opportunity to be invited to the White House, uh, it, it means a lot. Um, and especially, you know, with, with Barack and Michelle being here, you know, for me as a as an African American kid and, and knowing the 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 statistics of how we grow up and people saying that, you know, you can't be everything that you dream to be and they just broke the mold. So for me to be able to bring my Cavs teammates here, it means a lot. That idea that you've gotten to know them over the years, yeah. and there is a president of the United States who looks like you. Uh, yeah. How has that changed the way you feel like maybe you have a seat at the table in the national conversation? Well, they've uh, they've just given us more hope, you know, and, and the notion of, um, you know, when you if you dream about something and you put forth the effort, then that dream can become a reality. And, and for kids and for the for the youth. They just need guys in power that they can look up to and relate to that can, you know, get that uh, that momentum going for them and, and people that care and people that look like them and things of that nature. So uh, for me to be here, like I said, once again, I'm very humbled by it. Uh, you know, I, I'm more, I was more excited for my teammates and my right. teammates get an opportunity to do this. and. Um, I don't take it for granted. Yeah. And the idea that Obama's kind of been the sports president, right? I yeah. mean, he speaks the language. Yeah. You can tell he's a native speaker. He's yeah. a real fan. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's helped sort of bridge the gap? Because as we've seen, it's a divided country in yeah. a lot of ways. But he talks sports to Well, everyone. I think at the end of the day, it's all about how, um, how we can continue to keep the uh, communication going, keep the conversation going. And I think what Barack does a great job of, he speaks some of the same language. And, and for me growing up as an inner city kid, it was only two people or three that really spoke our language. There was uh, musicians, hip hop artists, athletes, and, and my moms, which are, or, or your parents. And to have someone at the biggest power in the world, being the president of the United States and Barack, that can speak the same language and you can kind of relate to them, it gives you even that much more sense of, uh, of confidence that I can become this, I can become that, I can become whatever I dream on and put the work into it. So, uh, it's just uh, it's, it's just been great just having him in office. You said you were leaving the trophy here. Are you really sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. Just uh, a couple days. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for a couple of days, and I'll, <laughs> I'll send for one of these Secret Service guys to bring it back to me. All right, good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The fact that you're able to bring this Cleveland team here after more than 50 years of no professional Cleveland major sports teams being able to have this honor, what does that mean? Just, I mean, it's special. First of all, it's just special to be in the White House at any time, especially during this sort of historic time with everything going on. But it's uh, it's just special. And I feel honored to be part of it. Of course, you know, it's easy for us. We watch these guys do what they do every day. And so it's just great. You know, hopefully, hopefully everybody's representing Cleveland, Ohio. So this was the rehearsal for when you're supposed to line up to meet the president. Did you know that as professional athletes, you would have to rehearse to stand in line? No, we didn't know it'd be like grade school where we had to line up from like tallest to smallest. I know, so you guys are the tall, they said tallest to smallest, and, and you are now the front of the line. Right, and they lied to me, and I was like the third one, which isn't true, so. Um, <laughs> Today, you're one of the taller ones. Right. So the shoes you got on. And they, they have, they run, they're running a buddy program, so you gotta know who's on your left and who's on your right, so. <laughs> so if anyone gets lost, you know, you know, find your You know, who's your buddy? I was gonna say. Right. Are, right. Are, you giving, right. Course, course. are you giving them advice no, I'm on how to the behave first time. In the White House. Well, you know, it's the novelty of the first experience, so I'm allowing well, it. Well, I've been here twice, but it's okay. It's cool. I did a uh, domestic I was violence talking yesterday two, two years ago. Tristan. Yeah, it's Tristan. He's Canadian. They're really not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so, like, so. It's, 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 it's a big day for you. Yeah, it's a big day. Yeah, enjoy it. That's yeah. good. Well, okay. congratulations on being tall. Thank you. Thank good you. Good job. Thanks more than anything. Great DNA. That's got to be where I am today.
of all say, I was in Cleveland a week and a half ago, and the whole city is just different now. You have transformed. And so I just want to say congratulations on one of the best seasons of all time, one of the great finals of all time. And uh, your city and your state could not be prouder of you. Uh, as a Bulls fan, uh, I know what it's like to suffer because I've been suffering now for a while. Um, but I think what this meant to, to the city and to, uh, to the state was different than anything you could have uh, went through when they first won the title. Uh, and, and so you guys did it right. You did it with class. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, you had a pretty good MVP. To, uh, to hit your wagon to. Uh, he's been a great friend, a great leader, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm so glad to see him be able to fulfill uh, that commitment that he made to the city. So, congratulations to uh, Mr. Gilbert. You did a heck of a job, mainly by hiring uh, one of the great uh, general managers in, in sports. And, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, a reprise of uh, last year's finals this year's, although I presumably don't want to fall behind 3-1 because that causes a little too much aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> better to win easier than that, right? Uh, but anyway, very proud of y'all. you got your governor, John Kidd, his daughters who want to meet the team, <laughs> Maisie Biden, Joe Biden's granddaughter, who uh, I coached because she's Sasha's one of Sasha's best friends on the Vipers, which also went, uh, won the championship for uh, rec league. <laughs> eight years old. And, uh, and the beat, Vice President Biden. All right, I'm gonna come around and shake hands and everybody just say congratulations. All right? Okay. Great job. Speaking of old guys who can still hoop, huh? Hey, John Davis, one more season. One more season. Why not? Why not? You had a great plan. Yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah. Good to see you again, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. you know, this is a Columbus guy, so. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how, how are you? Doing? Good to see you. What are you, are you, are you are, is this on, on camera here? This is or, ESPN. Being ESPN. Yeah, you're being recorded. Can you, say, can you say what these White House visits mean to you to have all these sports teams come in over the years? Uh, it's, it's so much fun, and... It's especially great for the staff and uh, people who work in government who are crazy fans to be able to meet uh, their heroes and cheer, cheer them on. Do you know any crazy sports fans? Oh, no. No, no. 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 <laughs>
but the road was anything but stable. Uh, and I'm not even talking about what happened on the court. Uh, there were rumors about who was getting along with who, and why somebody went in a picture, and LeBron was tweeting, and uh, you know, this was all big news. Uh, but somehow Coach Lou comes in, and everything starts getting a little smoother. Uh, and they hit their stride in the playoffs. Yeah, everybody can sit down, I'll be here for a while. <laughs> they start winning, they, they, they start winning their first 10 games in the playoffs, setting record after record for three point shooting. Uh, but obviously what this all comes down to is a team that for the first time in NBA history comes back from being down 3-1 in the finals. The first team in history to dig themselves out of a hole like that. And I should add that by knocking off the Warriors, they cemented the 1996 Bulls as the greatest team of all time. <laughs> so your president thanks you for that. <laughs> I know. That's funny, isn't it? Yes, it is. See, everybody's happy when, when their team wins. This was always a team effort. JR always seemed to hit uh, those shots you know, no, no, don't shoot that. And then it goes in and, man, that was a great shot. You got uh, Tristan Thompson, uh, who has as great of a motor as anybody, um, and put in extra work to teach himself how to shoot free throws with the wrong hand. Iman Shumpert playing not only great defense uh, and, and scoring, but also uh, delivered his wife's baby in the bathtub. <laughs> using a pair of headphones to tie off the umbilical cord. Now that's something right there. That, that, that was an all-star move. Got the MacGyver flat top, which we missed. Um, and of course, uh, there's the guy LeBron calls the favorite player, his favorite player of all time, James Jones. The two are a package deal. Six straight finals appearances. Their ne names even go together. LeBron James Jones. <laughs> I know that Cleveland could not be happier and prouder of having this trophy, but this was already a championship uh, group of guys uh, even before last year, and you should be very proud. Give it up for the world champs one last time. So from the 2016 World Champion Cleveland Cavaliers, we wanted to present this 16 this Obama awesome. jersey. I like this. Come on, guys. The, uh, now, the other thing is, though, I don't, the sleeves get tight. Can I tear these out? You can tear these out. I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'm joking. All right. The, uh, well, why don't, we, why don't we strike the podium here so we get a better picture? Team, come on up. shake hands as he usually does. <laughs> on, on behalf of uh, myself and my, my teammates, and uh, you know, we're just happy to be here. 
um, you know, with you guys. And we have a huge surprise, too. Oh, Kyrie has a trophy over there for you guys if you guys want to take a picture with it. Oh, you didn't even show me the trophy. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can. We're going to keep the trophy here for you for a couple days. But the biggest surprise out of all of it, not only seeing, you know, the first lady and also getting to see us, but tomorrow night, we're going to invite you guys to our game against uh, the Wizards tomorrow night. So, so hopefully, hopefully we can put on the show for you guys. Um, and we want to just say thank you for you know, all your guys' hard work and dedication and what y'all do to keep our, keep our land safe. So... Thank you. Thank you. We have a gift for you. You have a gift? Yeah, it was a t-shirt. I wanted to give it to you guys. It's a clean shirt. I don't know if you can wear it. I can wear it. You know, in a few more months, I can wear whatever I want. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's unbelievable. I mean, this was uh, definitely one of those surreal moments. You have the parade, you have ring night, you have you know going to the White House. So this was definitely a special time. Uh, seeing the First Lady, uh, seeing President Obama, uh, Vice President uh, Biden. It was a special moment, and getting to share it with the teammates and not knowing I was going up there to hand <laughs> hand off the jersey That's or right. speak. <laughs> Can we get everybody together so we can do uh, one big group photo? Yes. Uh, everybody line up at the free throw line. And uh, if everyone will take a picture lined up in front, in front of us. Uh, no, you guys are in there. You guys are in there. Uh, all the pictures. This way, everybody. You guys, please.